All right, everyone. Today we're going to learn how to use Logger Pro and insert that video you took of you throwing an object and then do some data analysis of it so you can do some mathematical modeling. And so to start off, you open up a clean document and I'm going to go and I'm going to insert a movie. And then you should find it should come up and then I'm going to go to where I put it on my desktop. And so you should bring it to your laptop itself. Here's my projectile motion movie. I open it up and it covers most of my screen. So one of the things I can do is if I then go to page, if I go to auto arrange, it'll readjust my windows to fit really nicely and I'm getting ready to do some analyzing. The next step I'll do is I am going to click on this button here with the red dots and then my menu bar will pop up. Okay, and as you can see, my video here, I throw the ball up in the air. Oh, I throw the ball up in the air, and I can see all aspects of the ball. I see the top, I see everything going down, and so your video should be clear like that. The camera person does not move the camera, it's steady the whole time. You'll also notice that there is a meter stick here to help me give a scale. And that's what I'm going to do now. So once I have this, these red dots turn on, I'm going to go to this ruler here. And this ruler is going to set my scale. And if I take the crosshairs and as best as I can go from the top of the ruler to the bottom of the ruler, then I set everything. Oh, cancel that. Try that again. I go from the top of the ruler the bottom of the ruler and I'm going to make that one meter and so now this is one meter long. The next step I'm going to do is I'm going to advance my film just to almost the part where the ball is about to leave where just as it leaves my hand there it goes right there and I'm going to stop the video here and from here I'm going to come and I'm going to take my axis which is this position and I'm going to put my axis here. I'm going to, the x-axis I'm going to put up my feet and the y-axis I'm going to put right about where it starts to leave my hand. Here. And this will set me up for doing some good calculations. So now what the key is I'm going to do is I'm going to take click on this value here and I'm going to make my graph time zero for the video time and click OK. And so now it thinks that this moment is zero. And then I finally last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this dot and I'm going to place it right on top of the ball as best I can. And when I do that it advances the frame and the ball is moving and I keep clicking on the ball as best I can. I want to do this as accurately as I can. I want to put the crosshairs exactly in the same spot each time I do it. Okay, and I keep on doing the path of the ball as best I can. And clicking away, clicking away, and being patient with the ball as it comes back down again. And I keep clicking to the middle, trying to do the best I can. Click, 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 click. Oh, here we go. The ball is coming down. What a beautiful thing this is. And I'm going to go. I don't want to do this last one because I'm not sure where it touches the ball. So I don't want it to hit the actual ground. And there I can see the path that it has gone. I do not, right off the bat, I know. I do not need velocity. So this velocity column, oh, uh, these velocity columns, I'm just going to delete. And I'm going to delete this one too. Why? Oh, I select it and delete it. All right. I'm also going to come along here and I'm going to click on my axis. And I'm going to go to more, and I don't want to see the red ones. I'll click that off. And magically, I have Y here, time on this axis, 
and it starts at zero and it goes all the way down to about 1.5 and I can adjust my scale a little bit to pull it down if I want there we go and pull this there we go and I can see that this is my graph here if I want to see at this point and I'm gonna at this point I'm also gonna now save it as props projectile time we need both and for the first part we're gonna work on the time and you're probably gonna need to get some of these points and if you want to see what the points are on the table well if I can take my cursor and I can go over top of them and I go oh that's this point here 0 0.2917 2.745 I can just find them as I go and then it will show me all the points that are that are there in the table one thing I'll also add is you want to keep all your decimal places you work with all the decimals that you can find because accuracy will matter with having your function fit well or not so please keep that in mind now you should be ready make sure part one is done with time and you're going to work with this one on time and see what you can come up with. Good luck.